Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. Today I want to take a look at Android 5.1.1 on the Moto 360. There are a bunch of new features to check out, so let's take a look. One of the biggest things you're going to notice is how you interact with, uh, I guess, the home screen you would call it. Uh, so when you tap now, it's going to bring you the app launcher instead of the Google search. And this is brand new app launcher. A lot of people wanted that and now it's here. So on the top, you're going to see recently opened apps. And then underneath that, you can see the full list. Then you can swipe over once more and you're going to see uh, contacts. And if you tap one of those, you can send a text, email, call, all that good stuff. Uh, also, I should mention that you can swipe from the left to get to this page too. And on the last screen is the typical Google search that you're used to. Once you swipe to this screen, as you can see, it's uh, listening right away. Um, and then if you stop that, swipe up here, you can see all the, the shortcut commands that we had in the last version. So that's cool. Go back to the home screen here. Now when you pull down, we have the notification modes that you can switch between just by tapping. If we swipe over, we have theater mode that you can turn on and brightness boost and then a shortcut to the settings. So let's go into the settings. There's a bunch of new stuff in the settings here. So for example, you can adjust the font size. You can turn on wrist gestures, which we'll talk about in a bit. Wi-Fi is a new thing that uh, some Android Wear devices have. The Moto 360 is one of them. So you can actually connect to Wi-Fi on the watch. And then if you are disconnected from your phone, it will still do notifications. Let me scroll down a little bit more. We have screen lock. And this actually will put um, the lock screen pattern that we've had on Android phones for a while on your watch. It can detect if you have set your watch down and you don't want someone to pick it up and interact with it. And if I can just hit lock screen now and we can see how that looks quick. So there you go, it's just your typical lock screen pattern like you'd see on an Android phone. And that works really great. So I mentioned wrist gestures was a new feature and that allows you to scroll through your notification cards without actually touching the screen. So I'll try to demonstrate that right now. So we'll turn on the watch face. Now I get brought up the card. Scrolled up, scrolled up to the next one, scrolled up to the next one. And the way it works actually is uh, it detects if you're moving your wrist slowly or fast. So in order to go down, like I was, you go fast and then forward to go in the opposite direction. Like if I want to hide this card right now, I move my wrist, let's bring up the screen, slow and then fast. And then I kind of swiped it down. So it's kind of neat. I don't know how much I actually use it, but it's cool. Another nifty feature that I'm not sure how much I'll actually use is the ability to reply with emoji. So I hit reply there and now I have this option to draw emoji. And basically it's just going to try to detect, as you can see an example here, uh, what emoji I'm drawing. So let's just do a simple one to start, smiley face. There you go, you see it got it. Exclamation point. I wasn't even trying to draw an exclamation point, but that works too. Uh, let's try to do a question mark. There you go. Uh, what are some other emojis? Let's see if I can draw a bunny. Wow, that's horrible. Thumbs up. Hey, there's the bunny. So not so bad. I mean, it's kind of fun, actually. Um, you can also just see the list of emoji like this if you want to do that it might be a lot easier uh, but it, it's cool that it's there and it, it's kind of fun and if you are just doing like a quick smiley face you know it is pretty easy the last thing i'll talk about is ambient mode for apps so as you can see here i can put my watch face into ambient mode and now it's very dim and i can just see the time and now I can actually put certain apps into that same mode. Not all apps support this, but one of the ones that does is Google Keep. So we'll open Google Keep, load up a list here. I have a list of fast food restaurants. Don't ask me why. 
but I can actually put this into ambient mode. So if I just wait, uh, it should show up in ambient mode. And there you have it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but my list is still displayed and the background is black. And I guess that would theoretically save battery life. Uh, it's a neat feature there. And it also means that the app is still on when I wake up my watch, which is a very nice addition. And that is Android 5.1.1 on the Moto 360. It's rolling out right now. It's already available on most other Android Wear devices. It's a very nice update. I highly recommend getting it, and it adds a lot of uh, useful features to Android Wear. We'll see you later, guys.